Good morning, everyone. This is Chris Miller. Come back at you with another Let's Try. Um, I just got screamed at by my cousin over f money stuff. Um, He's autistic, and he doesn't know how to express his emotions well, but, you know, I don't take well being screamed at. So... Basically, he tells me that I have to pay $800, which is not half of the rent. It is more than half the rent. But he says I owe him it. But I had already placed an order on DoorDash for this stuff, so, you know, here we are. Today on the docket we have but a uh, McDonald's. Got a 10 piece here that got cold because I got turned that for 15 minutes by some crazy guy. Uh, and, you know, like they're, they're charging us for a month that we're not living in the apartment. We moved out in the middle of February. They're charging us for March. I don't think that's fair. But they do. And we live in a capitalist society where the poor are downtrodden by the rich. So, you know. Um... But, uh, I'm trying this special chili sauce that McDonald's has now. Wack Donald's, they're calling it. I guess it's to do with anime, I don't know. I guess because, you know, like, the easiest way to do the McDonald's logo without doing the McDonald's logo is to literally flip it upside down. I'm expecting kind of a Jamil So sauce where it's like a little sweet but pretty savory. Ooh. It's more of a Kung Pao sauce. Kind of spicy. Surprisingly spicy for McDonald's. But let's try it with the chicken nuggets. It's good. Uh, basically makes a bootleg General Tso's chicken. Get it? Bootleg? <laughs> All I will say, the one advantage that Chinese food has over McDonald's is dark meat and it's fried chicken. Which allows it to be a lot more moist. Pardon me for a second. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I had to blow my nose, and I don't want you to see that, so pause the video. Um, because you know it. it This is spicy, and I and I was crying, so.
This is very specific to me because of who, of you know who my mom is. But do you ever get that frozen Chinese food like dumplings or chicken or what have you? And it comes with a little sauce packet that you're supposed to dip it in. That's kind of what this tastes like. Down to the freezer burn. If I had any criticism, it's a little too spicy for like a McDonald's sauce. I, I, I think it's red pepper flake that's in it. I'd cut it with some like sweet and sour or something. If you did get it, I mean. I mean, I think the true indicator of just how spicy it is is I'd rather eat these plain as a palate cleanser. Yeah, chicken nuggets just remind me of a very simple little time. Riding in the back of mom and dad's car on our way to grandma's for the weekend. I'm trying not to be as sulky as I should be, or as I feel, but you know, it's, it's hard. Another couple months I can't do the 20 pieces, my faster fave. Sylvie. But what about the sauce? Well, it's fine. Problem is it's too spicy. Like For as much sugar and stuff as it has in it, it's got the chili f or the red chili flake, which I think is way adds way too much spice to the whole thing.
like they give you three sauce packets for a twenty piece, which is which with the implication being that you're going to use one and a half uh, sauce packets per per chicken or per ten pieces. So the fact that I got through, or I barely got through one. <clears throat> Uh, one packet on ten pieces of chicken it shows you just like it's a little it's a little potent. <laughs> Granted, if you like spicy, you you you'll probably find it bland. I'm just a bit of a baby when it comes to spice, I guess. Anyway. Would I recommend this over the sweet and sour or the honey mustard? Eh, it is unique though. So if you like, so if, if you want to try something new at McDonald's, you you could do worse. But that's gonna be it for me today. This is Royce Miller, y'all, a good one. I'm outie.